Hey, hey, welcome back. Two sides of an isosceles triangle are seven and five in length. We want to compare quantitatively A and B, where one is greater than the other, they're equal to each other, or we just can't determine the relationship with the information given. And I'm here to tell you that the answer to this question is D. The relationship, again, just can't be determined from the information given. Here's why. So here's the key here. The problem states that we have two sides of an isosceles triangle. What does that mean for isosceles triangles? Well, remember, look, quantity A is the length of the third side. We have seven and five. If our triangle is isosceles, that means that, again, we have a pair of congruent sides. That means two sides are the same. So if we have two sides being five and seven, the third side is either going to be five or seven. Because again, if it's five, isosceles. If it's seven, isosceles. So it's either five or seven, but there's no more information to let us know which one it might be. If they said it was a right isosceles, then it would have to be five because the hypotenuse would have to stand alone. But that's not the case. It is not a right isosceles triangle. It's simply isosceles. So five or seven would work. And if it was five, then that means that quantity B would be greater. But if it was seven, that means that they're equal. But we don't know which one it is. And that's why we simply can't determine the relationship from the information given because it's just not specific enough. So with that said, my party people, I hope that helps out. Again, I'm Anderson. Reach out if you need me. Read the written explanations. Use the Facebook group. Do everything you need to do to make sure that you build that confidence and move forward strong. See you in the next question.